today she is teaching us varnamala over to you madam hari om shri guru bhyo namaha good evening to you all children good evening good evening ma'am namaste 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 ma'am namaste 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 ma'am hope you all uh, yeah namaste hope you all remember what we learnt in the last session yes ma'am yeah one of the there in the last session okay now let us see in the first slide you will see sanskrit alphabets or varnamala sanskrit varnamala in this we learnt the first row and the second row alphabets are called vowels or swaras and then the other uh, the, the five rows after that they are called mahapranas and then uh, sorry that is vargiya vyanjana that is they are all consonants and the one one row in the bottom most they are also called avargiya vyanjana and then bottom most uh, below that what you have is the special uh, features or special characters today we will be studying about special characters now out in the swaras you have hrasva swara that is short vowel dirgha swara that is long vowels and you have also have this mishra swaras that is combination of two swaras making it another swara alpa this is hrasva swara is the short vowels which need one unit of time for pronunciation ma'am it's like uh, uh, in kannada also it's there no ma'am uh, yes yes you are right that is called matra kala one matra is the time taken to blink one uh, once the i uh, what you call uh, eyelid okay that time required to blink the eyelid is called the matra kala that is the unit of time then we have this maha sorry dirgha swara they are the long vowels and then what you have this is that is a e u ru these are called long vowels a i o o these are all called a i yes tell me ma'am is this interrupting sorry if i am Uh, i didn't get you chinmay we will keep the questions at the end please okay yes yeah. i know you were not there last class uh, we will take all your questions at the end because madam has to complete her um, presentation okay yes now sir. the o are called guna varnas then i and o are called vruddhi am mm -hmm. is called anuswara and aha is called visarga this is the for two rows that they are all called swaras so swaras are long vowels short vowels and swara and visarga there are four types and then moving on to consonant we have vargiya vyanjana avargiya vyanjana five classified vyanjanas five classes you know like kavarga chavarga tavarga pavarga and then uh, tavarga then in the bottom most one row after that uh, five rows they, that is avargiya vyanjana they are all ya ra la va sha sha sa ha and then sha is called sayukta akshara the combination of two consonants that is called sayukta akshara conjoined letters then in the bottom most of the chart you see special characters it says you have two dots that is called visarga then you have s yes mark in some of the shlokas definitely you would have come across that is called avagraha chinha avagraha symbol avagraha means that is akara is there okay then one dot on any letter it is called anuswara anuswara and then you have got this chandra bindu you know that is called like omkara you, you must remember the symbol of the letter uh, alphabet omkara uh, pranava 
that is you give a chandra bindu after the above the okara that is it then the last one is the halant chinha halant means ending with a consonant that means no swara is added at the end of that letter so uh, that is it for the ishra swara yes ma'am this is similar to hindi right yes yes hindi you don't have visarga you have everything else here this anuswara you can see in the shloka number 1 in uh, uh, 12th adhyaya hindi i is this only okay evam satata yuktaye that evam you know in the end you hear the ending of the letter m evam that is anuswara and then even in that uh, uh, ye cha pyaksharam avyaktam aksharam avyaktam even there you you can see the anuswara then moving on to the visarga visarga is in shloka number 2 and then shraddhaya parayo petaha that is visarga at the end of the eighth letter yoga vittamaha that is also another place where you see visarga then chandra bindu as i said earlier it is what you write upon you while writing omkara and then this halant chinha that is you are seeing in the Uh, shloka number 1 line 2 e cha pyaksharam avyakta there you are going to write if you have a sanskrit book you can see e cha pyak e cha pyaksharam avyaktam avyaktam makara is halant makara so that is it that is chinha of ma i think vishwesh he was asking about this in the last class then this avagraha chinha in the example in this chapter what you see is atha dvadasho adhyayah dvadashah adhyayah yes wherever you see yes that is called avagraha avagraha chinha you are going to say akara is there so dvadashah adhyayah it becomes dvadasho adhyayah and then in the shloka number 5 if you have a, a, a gita book with you you can see klesho dhikartesham klesha adhikataraha so that yes is adhikataraha klesho dhikataraha adhikataraha that is it and then 10th shloka also first line you are seeing abhyase pyasamartho si then you have got two avagrahas i hope you are all uh, following this abhyase pyasamartho yes ma'am abhyase api so you have got that yes that there wherever you see the yes chinha it is in italic uh, alphabet then you say that is akara is there and then uh, and in the shloka number 11 athaida dapyashakto si there also you have to see yes that means akara is there so wherever yes avagraha chinha you see there you, you must know that there is akara but you need not split it sometimes we split not when you are making an a uh, presentation about the meaning of the verse that time or when you are studying the meaning that time we can we have to split it and then what you had is that the kshakara na tra and then you have that shra khya these are all called conjunct consonants is a combination of two consonants followed by a swara or the vowel tra means why is you write in english tra is t h r a or t r a you don't see a, 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 a swara between t and r or s h r like that those letters are called conjunct consonants so now with this background we are going to see the uh, next uh, so here so far what we have learnt we have seen that then the uh, 
Barakadi, you know, Kagunita in Kannada and Barakadi, that is you are going to add vowels to the Vyanjanas, that is the tongue that is written here, that is Ka, Ka, K plus A becomes Ka, K plus A, Ka, K plus E, Ki. In the next slide, you are uh, seeing that. So that is it. Uh, next slide, you see Barakadi. And again, in the next slide is very important slide where you want to see how more about Visarga. Here, the basic Visarga is called Aha, Am Aha. That is the Swaras where you are going to get this one. That is the basic Visarga. These are all called support vowel. That means it, it will take, it has to be pronounced, you know, along with the vowel behind that, that aha. So as you see in this slide, t plus aha is kaha, ch plus aha is chaha, t plus aha like that. Whatever the visarga you get in front of the vowel, sorry, the consonant, you have to pronounce it like that. That is the, uh, about that. And visarga sound with vowel a and a, a e, e. Now we will see how to pronounce the Visarga with Akara, Prasvaswara and Dirghaswara behind the Visarga. As you see in the table to your right, you see Kaha. Ka plus Aha is Kaha. How to pronounce it? Kaha. Ha is common everywhere. There that ending vowel it will change. Then Kaha. Ka plus Ka plus aha, that is kaha. See, kaha, kaha. Then ka plus ihi, that is kihi. I hope you are all able to recognize those uh, highlighted ones. Ka plus yes, ma'am. Yeah, ka plus ihi is kihi. Kihi, that is ka plus ihi, kihi. Kuhu. So plus kuhu. Can anyone tell me what is kuhu? How you are going to get ku plus what is kuhu? Uh, ka plus u plus ka plus uhu. Uhu. You see, kuhu is ka plus u plus aha. Uh -huh. Oh, which way? It is long vowel. You know uh, how I am pronouncing kuhu. Guru. So ka plus u plus. U plus Okay, good. Kuhu. Then you have this Kruhu. That is Rukara. Ruhu. Then you can K plus Ruhu becomes Kruhu. Then you have the K plus Yehe. Ravehe. That is Kehe. See how the ending. Hakara changes according to the vowel. Okay, you must make a note, note of this. Then ka plus aihi is kaihi. Then ko kauhu, kau plus ka plus auhu is kauhu. So this is how we have to pronounce when you see the visargas in the shlokas. Now moving on to the next slide, you will see the words in Sanskrit with all these visargas. See here, Rama, Rama plus Aha, Ramaha. Uh, next slide, sir. Rama plus Aha, Ramaha. The second one is Balaha. Aha, okay, Balaha. Ravihi, Ihi, Ravihi. Then Lakshmihi. Ihi. Are you able to uh, uh, understand what I am explaining, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Continuing. Guru becomes Guru. Uhu. Vadhuhu. Dirga Ukara. Like how, say, how I asked. Huhu. And then we have Ravehe. Ramaihi. Aihi. Oho example is Guru. Now, Auhu, you have Gauhu. 
Now in the same slide, you see, A is pronounced like a word in the word, O in the word, sun. A in ma, matra, like that. And then even in the next slide, this is Swami uh, Paramartha Nandaji used this in the Tattva Bodha book. So that is A as in fun. A dirgha, that is long vowel, you have to pronounce it as father. Like how you pronounce A, long vowel in the word father. Like that, you can get the uh, how to pronounce the words then how to pronounce the long vowels, visargas, and everything. And um, uh, in the consonants, you have three types, basically two types, vargiya and avargiya. Vargiya, you have two types, that is, in fact, three types. The, uh, alpa prana, that is non-aspirated, and then maha prana, aspirated. Can anyone tell me what are the rows for non-aspirated? Alpa prana. Very good. Ma'am, first and third. And three very five. good. Very yes. good. Uh, yes, yes. Very good. And second and fourth are aspirated alphabets. Then the what is the fifth column letters are called? Fifth co fifth column letters. Uh, Annasika. Yes, very good. May I know your name? Uh, oh, very nice. So, no, very good. Okay. Now, with this background, and then Yara, Lava, they are all called Antasta or semi vowels, and other the Shasha, Saha, they are like Mahaprana, we pronounce Sha. Sa. What speciality of this Mahaprana while pronouncing what is the thing happening regarding breath? What is the change? We have to exhale. Yes, you have to exhale. Very good. Good observation. So this sa sha sha sa sha sha ha. These are all you are going to exhale while pronouncing the so they are called aspirated words. Now with this background, let us try to read one or chant one shloka that you are going to see in the next slide. Ma'am, can you yes. ma'am? Can you pronounce uh... Sir, can you go to the back slide? Sir, ma'am, can you pronounce close to world the letter which is written close to world? Which is that one? Which one you want? Ma'am, the last one, ma'am, okay. before that uh, La. Yes, that is called La. Okay. Usually in Sanskrit, we don't use that alphabet. Very rarely. Or maybe we maybe yes. Kannada also there is la. Yeah, la is there for la. That is la is in Sanskrit. This la is not there in Sanskrit. Kannada is there, and in Hindi also it is there. Sometimes they use the last letter in Kannada. The last letter is la. Yes, auto la. Yes, you are right. So now with this background, let us move on to the next slide. There we chant a sloka about Saraswati, the goddess of who gives us knowledge. See here, Yakundendu Tushara Hara Dhavala. If you see the one that is written in Sanskrit, they give after Ya, they give one full bar, you know, under like. Kundendu Tushara Hara Dhavala is all under one bar. Okay? That means it is one word. You cannot split this Yakundendu and then give a pass, then go to Tushara Hara Dhavala. No, you cannot say that. Whatever is under one bar, you have to pronounce it as a single word. They are called Samasapada or compound words. So, Yakundendu Tushara Hara Dhavala Yashubhra Vastra Vruta. See here also Mahaprana, aspirated one, you have to pronounce very well. Yavina Varadanda Manditakara. Then give a pass. This is in a different meter, Shraddhara meter, I think. Yashweta Padmasana. 
या ब्रह्माच्युत शंकर प्रभृति भी so that is also one word so like this you have to chant this and you cannot see in english a hyphen is given between yakundendu tushara hara dhavala that is all that means it is one word wherever you see hyphen it means it is one word so with this background let us chant this one i will teach you can you all chant along with the after the repeat after i once i chant yes ya kundendu tushar hara dhavala ya kundetu shar dhavala okay give a pass then ya shubhra vastra vruta ya shubhra vastra vruta ya श्वेतपद्मासना ब्रह्माच्युत शंकर प्रभृति सदा पूजिता सदा पूजिता पातु सरस्वती भगवती पातु सरस्वती भगवती निशेषाध्याप निशेषाध्याप yes very good so slowly if you read along whatever uh, the english wordings are given uh, you can you will get it slowly you can pick up properly okay okay with this today we have learned long vowels short vowels aspirated non aspirated and nasals and then our gya vinjana you have got yara lava shasha saha and then conjoined uh, uh, consonants kshatra tragna and then we learned about visarga what happens after k plus aha k plus aha etc how to pronounce them and then we learned particular words ramah guru ho vadhu ho like that so with this i think they have got this more knowledge about this visarga this, this next time i pass you practice chant them that time you can be little more cautious about all these things what we learned so far at least okay thank you all children thank you sir hari om namaste namaste ma'am thank you